me any question you'd like. It could be. When I first started uh, boxing. Hey, what's up, guys? We're back. We're back with another video. Today we're going to cover the mental side of boxing. But before we begin the video, I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. We're at currently in this video 573 subscribers. Let's hit 1000. <laughs> um but thank you thank you guys for thank you guys for all the support. Thank you guys for liking liking, commenting, sharing. With without you guys I wouldn't be able to to do to do what I love. Boxing is my favorite thing to do. When I wake up, I go train and go fight. Spar is my favorite thing to do in my life. It's the best thing. And uh, I'm a huge advocate of, of kids learning boxing because of, of the discipline. But that's for another video. So thank you guys again, once again. Uh, Ask me any question you you like. I, I'll answer anything. Always remember that about me. Um, I'm here for you guys. I'm here for you. like these videos. All these videos that I make, they're they're mainly for beginners and intermediate. Yes, there are advanced videos, but it's primarily for for beginners and and uh, intermediate and. I know that there's pro fighters watching these videos and there's there's legitimate coaches, top coaches that watch these videos. And I want to thank you guys. Uh, I, I want to thank you guys for just watching the video and just if I, I hope that you find value out of my videos. So today, guys, is just. The mental side about boxing. I'm gonna take you back. It was, and I'm gonna post the picture right now. So it was 2016, February something. I can't remember February or January. 2016. I was 18, 18 years old, and. Uh, I had just turned 18 too Cause I still remember uh, If anyone doesn't know my coach My coach is Juan Jimenez They call him they call him Superman He's He's been in the game The boxing game for a long time And I still remember on my birthday I, I was 17 and then I turned 18 On the, We were doing mitts with my coach uh, Superman Juan Jimenez um, So I had just turned 18 So it was, it was January 2016 And I had sparred an amateur. He's now a professional. He has a. I know he had over two hundred amateur fights. So at that time, I had only. I want to say like eight amateur fights. Eight amateur fights. I wasn't even open. I was almost. I was probably open, or I was almost open. And, and I had my coach was like, "Hey," because he was beating up on one of our kids who was a, who was a good fighter. It's just that, I think that my friend, was. Wasn't really focused into boxing. He wasn't all there. But he was a really good fighter. My friend, because my friend had, he had around like 60, 70 amateur fights. So he, he and he's been boxing for a while. But, so my coach super was like, hey, Marco, hey, Weto. Uh, get in the ring, get in the ring. Because we need, he needs work. Like, and then my coach was like, he needs work, he needs work. And my mentality, obviously, I never, I never turned out a fade with nobody. <laughs> like I never, I love combat. I love fighting. That's just me. I never turned down a fade with nobody. So, um, so, okay. So I'm gonna tell you. Look, 
before I tell you what happened, right? So I started boxing at at age 13, 13. It was right before I turned before freshman year, so I was in 8th grade and then it ended. I, well, I was in 8th grade. You get you get it. I was in 8th grade basically. And and um And I remember, um, there was, who was the first, the first time, the first time that I ever sparred, I don't remember that much. Well, I do remember actually. So the first couple times that I did spar, it was very hard. It was very hard to get the head movement down, all that boom, boom. And what else? Closing my mouth when I sparred. Mm. I got tired quickly. Must, but everything was because of my state of mind. You, you're you're anxious when you first start off. You're anxious. You're like, ah, ah, ah. You get me. And the one thing you, as you get older in the game. You accumulate experience that nobody can take away from you. And the state of mind that you accumulate is invaluable in all facets of life. It's going to help you in all facets, in all aspects of life. <clears throat> um, because you learn, this is, this is where... The, you learn. This is what you guys came for. So you learn that you have to have self-belief and you have to believe in yourself. There are times where you just have to know that you're going to beat the guy. Even if the guy is, has all these accolades. You have to be the first one to believe in what you're doing. Everyone else is going to doubt you. But never, 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 never doubt yourself. Remember that. When you get in that ring... You got to have a belief that is so heavy. You got to be the only one to know that you're going to come out that ring victorious. Never ask anyone what they think. Let's say you're going to fight Canelo or whoever. Canelo, we're going to give Canelo. Don't ask anyone if they think you're going to win. That shouldn't even be a question in your mind. You're going to win. And yeah, you're going to see the comments. Everybody's going to, like, let's say you're going to fight Canelo, whoever. Oh, yeah, he has no way of beating him. Uh, he can't beat him. It's, it's impossible. No. That man is human like you. There's no, boxing is boxing. I've seen some of the craziest things happen in this sport. Where... Floyd was almost losing to McGregor. Come on. So, and I love Floyd. McGregor never boxed in his life. You get me? Stuff like that. I've seen, I've seen so many stuff. I've seen, uh, mm, I've seen the Pernod Whitaker fight versus Oscar De Loya. Oscar De Loya is my favorite fighter of all time. Nobody thought Pernell was going to beat him. Nobody thought Pernell was going to beat him. He made Oscar miss. Like, and Pernell was that Pernell was out of his prime. And he still made Oscar miss. And bro, Oscar is a gold medalist. Oscar is a beast. Oscar, Oscar could fight. And then Pernell. And then Pernell made him look like nothing. 
there's there's numerous examples that I could I could continue the list the list. Jerry Heard, J Rock, uh Charlo and, or Charlo Lubin. Most people thought Lubin were, was gonna win that fight. Mm. Number one as an amateur. So it's just uh, there's so many things. Okay, and Lubin right now. Lubin right now, since he got he got knocked out, people hate are hating on him. They're 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 throwing a lot of disparaging comments to to weaken his mind. Okay, he got knocked out. So what? So what? That doesn't mean anything. It put it put it. Hmm. Most people would say that it, it puts him back. I don't. You take that as a as experience and you keep going up. Lubin can be whatever Lubin has in his mind, he can become. Just because Lubin got knocked out by Charlo doesn't mean he can't come back and, and beat the top guy in his in that division again. Everything's in state of mind, he but you have to be the first one to believe it. When you spar, when you're about to spar this guy, whoever, boom. Um you gotta get in there and, and know who you are as a person. Know what you're getting your know what your what your meaning in life is. That's where it comes to. Is is you gotta know the me like when you get in the ring, you gotta know the meaning in your life. Like what am I doing this for? Am I ready to die in the ring? You am I ready to die in the ring? This is what what you gotta be thinking. Yes. You gotta be able to throw everything on the line that day. The most important thing is you winning. That's it. And you believing in your in yourself. Even when whatever happens in this boxing game, know that everything's gonna be all right if you keep going. You keep going up the ladder of 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 the boxing ranks to the road to the titles. It's gonna be hard. It's not gonna be easy. But if you keep going, you keep going. Whatever happens, people are hating. Whatever, but you keep going, you're gonna get there. You're gonna get there. It's just it's just a matter of time. But you have to be the first one to believe it. You gotta be the first one to to speak it into existence. Speak it, speak it into existence. If no, if if nine people out of the room don't believe in you, but you're the only one that believes it in yourself and you believe in what you're doing, I'll promise you in a year. It's gonna ha whatever you believe is gonna happen. Two years, three years, it's gonna two years max, two years minimum. I think it's gonna happen. If it's if it's a if it's a obviously a very um a very art like a very arduous goal, a very hard goal, you're gonna it's gonna take obviously it's not gonna come easy, but if you if you stay consistent, that staying consi consistent. You stay faithful to this game. That's for another video too. I'm going to talk about that. Staying faithful to this game. Just be believe in yourself when no one else does. That's that's pretty much the the main thing in, in about this video. If you're going to spar Lomachenko and everyone thinks that He's gonna knock you out. You're gonna be be the only one, be the only one, and be the first to say in your mind. You don't have to tell anyone else. Just but you tell yourself. You know what? I'm coming here to stop Lomachenko. I'm coming here to beat him. Like I'm not getting. It. Come on, man. Hmm. But continuing the story, I'm so I'm, I'm continuing the story, right? I sparred the I sparred I sparred the kid with 200 amateur fights. At the time, he probably had like 180. I'm thinking 160, 170. And I knew my I knew my mind that I've always known what I what I was put on this earth to do, and that's boxing. That his accolades didn't scare me. Why? He's he's another human like me. He got on winning gloves like me. So, so then I I hit him with the left hand. Boom, boom. We sparred two rounds. And 